So hey guys, here we have again a very beautiful question. The question says that which is a greater number, 2 raised to power 300 or 3 raised to power 200? Now again, uh, we have a very simple base 2 and 3, but the powers are quite a massive, quite, quite uh, large. And here it's not possible to actually calculate the entire value of 2 raised to power 300 or whatever. So what you can do in these cases, just let's suppose that x is equals to 2 raised to power 300 and y is equals to 3 raised to power 200. Now I have to tell or the question has been asked that whether x is greater than y or y is greater than x. That's the question. Correct. Now we won't be able to solve it like this. So what, why, what if, if I just take a power 1 by 100 both side for both the numbers. So what, what goodness it will bring. So let's do that first then we'll see what goodness it will bring. So I have got x raised to power 1 upon 100 and similarly 2 raised to power 300 on this also I will put a power of 1 upon 100. So let me tell you uh, the property that I'm using here if we have a equals to b I can just raise same power to both sides. So I can write a raised to power m equals to b raised to power m. Now m can be in anything. So here in our case we have taken m to be 1 upon 100. Okay. So both the sides I have raised the same power x uh, raised to power 1 upon 100, 2, raise, uh, 2 raised to power 300 raised to power 1 upon 100. Now here you should know that we have another property that a raised to power m whole raised to power n gives me a raised to power m into n. So I'll just multiply both the powers. It will be 300 into 100 into 1 by 100 sorry. So that will give me 2 raised to power 3. So we have got x raised to power 1 upon 100. I can assume this to be a new number a say for example. So we have got a this this number a is equals to 2 cube which is 8 very much solvable. Now similarly if I do the same thing for this second number y equals to 3 raised to power 200 you'll write y equals to 3 raised to power 200. Now just take both side the powers 1 upon 100 here also 1 upon 100. Now if you take the same power you'll get y raised to power 1 upon 100 and here again both the powers are going to get multiplied with this property. So 200 into 1 by 100. So this is going to be nothing but 3 into 200 into 1 upon 100 and both 100 getting cancelled. So 3 raised to power 2 and which is going to be equal to 9. So if I assume this number to be B. Now you have to tell me, let's see, this property is going to be followed like here if A equals to B. Say for example, if A would have been greater than B. So even if you would have got a power A raised to power N and B raised to power M, the inequality would not have changed if inequality would not have changed if m and n are positive numbers. So if m is positive, then equality will not change. So if a is greater than b, in the power also it will follow the same suit. So using that property, x raised to power 1 by 100, y raised to power 1 by 100, which is greater. Very easily I am able to see that y raised to power 1 by 100, this 9 is greater than, so I will write it here. We know that 9 is greater than 8, yes. So 9 is what? 9 is y raised to power 1 by 100. So y raised to power 1 by 100 is greater than 8. What is 8? 8 is x raised to power 1 by 100. x raised to power 1 by 100. Now, since y raised to power 1 by 100 is greater than x raised to power 1 by 100, this means very easily I can write this means y is greater than x. And hence, we have been able to find the answer that y, our number that is 3 raised to power 200 is greater than 2 raised to power 300. And that's our answer. I hope you like this method. I hope you like this question. Do let me know in the comment box that how much did you like it and did you find it interesting or not. And let's see the next question for your homework so that you can solve it at your place and then I'll bring the solution for that question in the next video. Here we go. So guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed the problem. And if that is the case, so I would like to give you one more problem as a challenge which you should solve and send me the answers. What do you say? So if, if you are ready, here is the problem. In this problem, what you have to do, you have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box. If I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, just write down in the comment box that, sir, I'm not able to solve it. Kindly help or kindly guide. I'll be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box, I'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session. Okay. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. So if you, if that is the case, please write down in the comment box, your valuable feedback. Do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents. See you in the next video. Thank you.